This lesson is going to demonstrate how to add a customized banner to your Google site. If you notice where it says sample class site, we want to add an image there. So I know that I'm going to keep that green color scheme, and this is kind of important to make this as attractive as possible. So I'm going to click on the print screen button. It should be in the upper right corner of your keyboard. When I click on the print screen, it will take a snapshot of this website. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go to Photoshop. With Photoshop open, I'm going to do File, New. And I'll just say OK. And I'm going to do Control V to paste that snapshot in there. And you need your Tools window. That's over here on the left if you can see this. If that's not opened, you're going to go to Window and you're going to choose Tools. So I'm going to click on the eyedrop tool to pick up that color. But I had already established those colors earlier. But in case you didn't save them, you can now access those colors. So I'm going to click on the green. I want to choose File, New from the main menu. You could type in Banner. And these are the dimensions. You can always come back and change these dimensions if they don't work. I'm going to go ahead and choose 650. Make sure it's set to pixels. And I'm going to set the height to 90. You can set it to white. We're not going to use transparency, even though transparency can work for what we're about to do. And I'm going to choose OK. I'm going to go ahead and drag this down. Now that might be a bit small, but let's go ahead and go with it. I'm going to click on the Paint Bucket tool in the Tools window. If it's not showing, it's because it's hidden behind the Gradient tool. So you would click on the Gradient and select the Paint Bucket and fill that background with that color. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use the eyedrop tool and I'm going to make the text the color of that purple. You can see how I'm sticking with the color scheme. If you deviate too much from the color scheme, you might not be getting colors that work together. So I'm going to click on the T for the text tool. Now, you're going to have options at the top. I don't know if you can see where it says Arial, Bold, and so forth. If that's not showing, let me go ahead and click off of here. If that is not showing, you need to go to Window. And that's because Options was not showing. So make sure that Window Options is selected. And it's kind of cool. Any tool that you click on in Photoshop, the options will change at the top. So I'm going to click on the T, and I'm going to click down and start typing in my site's name. So for this example, let's say I'm going to add a bunch of Photoshop images to a gallery. So I'll call it my Photoshop Gallery. Now notice, I'm going to use the Move tool in the upper right-hand section of the Tools window to move this text. Now notice, it didn't choose the color, so I'm going to go over to my Layers window. If you can see that over here, if it's not showing, why don't I go ahead and go to Window and deselect Layers. Notice how that disappears. You really need this window. So go to Window, and you're going to choose Layers. And I have two layers. I have a background layer right now, and I have a text layer. Do you see where the T is right next to the eyeball? I'm going to double click on that T to select my text. And I'm going to click on the white, because that's, that's the color of it. And I'm going to come over here with the eyedrop tool. I mean, I could choose from this, but I want to pick the color that I established earlier. I could pick it from there, or from my image that I pasted earlier. I'll say OK. I can change the size. I can change the font. So I'm going to go ahead and experiment until I'm happy, and I'll be right back. I had a change of heart, and I decided I don't want it to be my Photoshop gallery. I'm going to call it Chris's Photoshop gallery. So to edit that text, you simply double-click on that T in the Layers window, and I'm going to come over here with my cursor. I'm going to select My and just start typing in Chris, Chris's Photoshop Gallery. I would use the Move tool to move it. And it's really neat about Photoshop is you can go to the Layer window and choose Layer, Layer Style, and you can come in and, and start playing with the drop shadow and so forth. What drives me crazy is when kids go in and they select this window and they put all of them in. In my opinion, it ends up looking hideous. But that's my opinion. Please don't do that. So I'm going to go ahead and deselect all of these, and I'm going to choose 
maybe the drop down. I don't know if you can see that little drop down shadow. You can actually change the colors and experiment in this window. So you can drag this so the shadow goes a different direction. And I'm going to go ahead and say OK. Well, let's just say I wanted to put a thin stroke around it. If I choose to do that, I would then make sure that text layer is selected. I would go to layer, layer style, and I would choose stroke. Notice it, it forces a black stroke. So I'm going to click on the, the color palette. I'm going to use the eyedrop tool to pick up that shade of green from my website. I'm going to go ahead and say OK. Now you can change the thickness of it. And I just like a nice thin Maybe I'll put the number 2 in there. And I'm going to go ahead and say OK. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get this ready to save for the website. What I would do is you might want to revisit this. So you're going to want to do File Save As. And go ahead and put it in that folder intended for this project. So there's the Google site. And I'm going to go ahead and call it Banner and save it because you might want to come back and add an image. So for example, let's say I'm going to move the text and there's something really fun in Photoshop. Notice this little tool here, the custom shape tool. If you click on that, make sure it's custom shape. And at the top in the options, you can add some of these cute little symbols All right, to spice things up a little maybe. So let's say I want to put this flower in there. I'll then select it. I'll click down and drag it out. And that's the color I want. Unless I, If I wanted it to be the light shade of that green, I would simply go to the Layers window, double click on it. See the, the layer thumbnail? Double click. And this window pops up and I would pick up that color. I might then go to Layer, Layer Style and put a stroke and I'll change it to that purple and set it to the number two, 2 in size. So that looks beautiful. I'm now going to resave. Just go save. I just already saved it. So now I'm going to prepare it for my website. So you want to go File, Save for Web. And in this window, this is where you can determine. I always like to zoom in to see what, the, what it looks like. That's a thousand percent right now. It's zooming in quite a bit. And the choices we are going to pick are either JPEG or GIF. So if I click on GIF, okay, I don't know if you notice a difference in quality or not. I'll go back to JPEG. There's really not a difference in quality. So then it's going to be a matter of size. Do you see in the bottom left corner where it says JPEG 66.28 kilobytes? Let's go back to GIF. So a GIF is much smaller. It's really not that big of a difference. But we're going to go, if they're both quality images, I'll go with the smaller image in this case. So I'm going to then save it as a GIF. And I'm going to locate that folder to stay organized, the Google site, and save it as banner.gif. In order to add your banner to your website, you need to go to More and Manage Sites. When that window loads, go ahead and choose Site Layout then you're going to come here where it says change logo. You're going to browse for that logo and it just so happened to open the folder. Isn't that nice? I'm going to select banner and I'm going to say OK. Now watch what happens when I save it and I go back to the site to see how it looks. Okay, That looks great but look at this little sample class there. We need to get rid of that. So I'm going to go back into more I'm going to choose Manage Sites. I'm going to choose General on the left-hand panel. So it happens to be in the General mode right now. And I'm going to notice where it says Sample Class Site. This site storage is in the way. But right here you want to deselect it because we can't see what it says, but it's saying basically Show that text and we don't want to do that. So I'll save it and then I'll return to the site and that looks awfully big. However, if I were viewing in a smaller 
mode that's what it would look like I don't know if you know this if you click on the control and the plus sign you can make sites bigger if you can click on the control and minus sign it gets smaller so if you wanted you could go back into Photoshop and resize that so it's smaller and then reinsert that image if you do that so in this case I would probably choose image image size and I might set it to let's do 550 and then file save for web again but this time what I would do is call it banner 2 don't overwrite the other one then I would click save and I would come back to the site I would go to more manage site site layout and I'm going to change the logo I'll browse for banner 2 I'll go ahead and say OK save you always want to save because if you don't it's not going to save most likely and then return to your site so that concludes this session on adding a banner to your customized Google site until next time you have a wonderful day